Finally, after months of tough negotiations, the European Parliament has managed to sway member states. The EU's outstanding bills will be paid. A first tranche will cover 4 billion of a total of nearly 25 billion euros. The reimbursement was a key condition of the 2015 budget vote. Je suis convaincu que si le Parlement n'avait pas fait le forcing et nous y avons mis toute notre énergie, toute notre détermination et nous étions prêts à aller jusqu'à la limite extrême, euh, je crois que le Conseil n'aurait donné aucun crédit de paiement supplémentaire, ce qui aurait aggravé dramatiquement le montant des factures impayées. For 2015, the MEP secured additional funding for SMEs, Erasmus, research and foreign policy. Several parliaments in Europe have already shown support in favour of recognising Palestinian statehood. Today it was the turn of MEPs to cast their vote in plenary. An overwhelming majority voted to recognise Palestine, but argue this recognition must go hand in hand with progress in Israel-Palestine peace talks. MEPs urge all Palestinian factions to put an end to internal divisions and condemn Israeli settlements, which international law deems illegal. Following revelations by the US Senate of CIA torture, notably of prisoners held in Guantanamo, MEPs have reopened their investigation. Several EU member states have been directly implicated in authorising renditions on their territories, and allegations suggest their involvement in the tortures. Those who are responsible in the US, but as well in European states who cooperated with this uh, uh, programme, must be held responsible, must be tried and held responsible. Uh, the law is the same for all. MEPs will vote on a resolution in plenary in February. <laughs> plenary gathered for the 2014 Lutz Prize Award Ceremony. Pavel Pavlikovsky Zaida came away with the European Parliament's Film Prize. The film takes viewers on the journey of a young girl as she sets out to discover her identity, a moving story set against the backdrop of Europe's painful past. The Lux Prize rewards the three shortlisted finalists with subtitling in all 24 EU languages and screenings in all 28 member states.